A hazy heat wave is a period of unusually hot and humid weather that creates a haze in the air. A haze is a thin layer of dust, smoke, or pollution that reduces visibility and can affect air quality. A hazy heat wave can occur when a high-pressure system traps warm and moist air near the ground, preventing it from rising and cooling. This also prevents clouds and rain from forming, which can worsen drought conditions. Manitoba experienced a hazy heat wave in the summer of 2021, along with other parts of Canada and the western United States. According to Environment Canada, a prolonged heat wave was expected in west-central Manitoba, with afternoon high temperatures near 30 degrees Celsius earlier in the week, reaching 35 degrees Celsius in some regions later on in the week. The heat wave lasted until the end of the week and may have continued into early next week. The Weather Agency issued heat warnings for southern Manitoba and the vast majority of Ontario alerting the public that temperatures could stay above 30 degrees for several days. The hazy heat wave in Manitoba was caused by a combination of factors, including climate change, which has increased the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. The heat wave was also influenced by a phenomenon called a heat dome, which is a large area of high pressure that acts like a lid on the atmosphere, trapping heat and creating record-breaking temperatures. The heat dome was formed by a jet stream that moved northward over western Canada and the Pacific Northwest, allowing hot air from the south to flow into the region. The heat dome also brought smoke from wildfires that were sparked by the dry and hot conditions, creating a haze that reduced visibility and air quality. High temperatures and poor air quality are two major health hazards that can affect anyone, especially during a heat wave. In this section, I will share some tips on how to protect yourself from the health risks of these environmental factors. First, let's talk about the health effects of high temperatures. Exposure to extreme heat can cause heat-related illnesses, such as heat stroke, heat exhaustion, heat cramps, and heat rash. These conditions can be serious and even fatal if not treated promptly. Heat-related illnesses can affect anyone, but some people are more vulnerable than others. These include children, pregnant women, older adults, and people with chronic medical conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, or respiratory problems. To prevent heat-related illnesses, you should drink plenty of fluids such as water or sports drinks, to stay hydrated and avoid alcohol and caffeine. Wear loose-fitting, light-colored clothing and a hat or umbrella to protect yourself from the sun. Avoid strenuous physical activity during the hottest part of the day and take frequent breaks in the shade or in an air-conditioned place. Check on your family members, friends, and neighbors who may be at risk and help them stay cool and hydrated. Know the signs and symptoms of heat-related illnesses and seek medical attention if you or someone else experiences them. Second, let's talk about the health effects of poor air quality. Air pollution can cause or worsen respiratory and cardiovascular diseases such as asthma, bronchitis, emphysema, heart attack, and stroke. It can also increase the risk of lung cancer and premature death. Air pollution can affect anyone, but some people are more sensitive than others. These include children, pregnant women, older adults, and people with existing lung or heart problems. To reduce your exposure to air pollution, you should check the air quality index AQI, in your area and avoid outdoor activities when the AQI is high or unhealthy. Limit your use of vehicles, fireplaces, with stoves and other sources of combustion that contribute to air pollution. Use an air purifier or filter in your home or workplace to improve indoor air quality. Wear a mask or respirator that covers your nose and mouth when you are outdoors in areas with high levels of air pollution. Follow your doctor's advice on how to manage your respiratory or cardiovascular condition 
and take your medications as prescribed. By following these tips, you can protect yourself from the health risks of high temperatures and poor air quality during a heat wave. Remember to stay cool, stay hydrated, and stay informed. Thank you for watching this video and stay safe. Heat waves are not only uncomfortable, but also dangerous for our health and the environment. They can cause heat exhaustion, heat stroke, dehydration, and even death. They can also worsen air pollution, increase greenhouse gas emissions, and damage crops and wildlife. That's why it's important to reduce our environmental impact and help prevent future heat waves. One of the main causes of heat waves is global warming, which is driven by human activities that release carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These gases trap heat and make the earth warmer. To reduce our carbon footprint, we can adopt some simple habits, such as walking or biking instead of driving whenever possible, using public transportation or carpooling when we need to travel longer distances, choosing energy-efficient appliances and electronics for our homes, switching to renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind power, turning off lights and devices when we are not using them, adjusting our thermostats to use less heating or cooling. Another way to reduce the impact of heat waves is to increase the green spaces in our cities and neighborhoods. Plants and trees can provide shade, lower the temperature, and improve the air quality by absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. They can also reduce the urban heat island effect, which is when buildings and roads absorb and radiate more heat than natural surfaces. To create more green spaces, we can plant trees and other vegetation around our homes and streets. Support community gardens and parks. Use green roofs and walls on buildings. Choose light-colored or reflective materials for roofs and pavements. By taking these actions, we can not only make our lives more comfortable and healthy during heat waves, but also contribute to a more sustainable and resilient future for ourselves and the planet.